Hello all, um, it's been a while, obviously. I say all, no one might not watch this. It's weird what these times do to you. They make you sort of just want to return to what you used to do, which I mean, I find the editing good therapy. That's my history. Um, what am I doing today in the run through a top 10 list of Argyle away games I've been to? Because I presume the majority of my audience are Argyle fans, I guess that would make sense. So yeah, Argyle away games that I've been to, these are all obviously opinions, it's a limited number which I have been to, and I'm of a certain age. I think that should stop most of the complaining. Uh, let's get into it. It's worth saying during this video that I will be looking down at a notepad and I'm rating games not so much on the football that was played, but on the moment and on the importance to me, one RR fan. Self-indulgence, really. At number 10, it's the only defeat on this list. There's obviously been quite a few. None of them are particularly good memories, like Coventry from last season, or Northampton from the season before. Might have been last season as well. Last season wasn't very good to be honest, but this is from last year, it was the League Cup game away to Millwall, 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 they pronounce it differently to everyone else I find, um, League Cup, we lost 3-2, but Freddie Ladapo scored a great solo goal, and that brief moment, that brief feeling made the sprint to the ground feel worth it. Sprinting out of a tube station is not the smartest idea I've ever had, come to think of it, but you live and learn. Number nine, one of the continental away days, Newport County. 1-0 um, after extra time in the FA Cup second round replay. Graham Carey scored a penalty after Arnold Garita had missed a penalty. It was a dark and cold day. It was a weird day as well. It was a Tuesday night replay, which I probably wouldn't have gone to otherwise but we already knew our third round opponents or whoever went through third round opponents that was Liverpool and come to think of it that's not on this list <laughs> okay at number nine Liverpool away Bore draw nil nil scratch that forget all the Newport stuff before I said beforehand that never happened at number eight Newport Really? 3-1 win. James Bittner came on because their goalkeeper Joe Day got sent off. John Parkins scored an absolute screamer after typically us giving him pelters all game. Much the same as we do to most strikers at away days. I can remember Tom Eaves at Gillingham us calling him a not very nice word. And then Andy Carroll and he then scored a hat trick and we lost I think 5-1, 5-2 that day. So yeah, Graham Carey scored two penalties, Jordan Slew against 10-man Newport. That's number eight. Yes, so Newport fans don't feel too aggrieved that you were just scratched off the list. Sorry. Final day of the season, 2015-16 I think it was. Maybe 2014-15 come to think of it. It was the year of the yellow away kit with a like orange sponsor logo on it, which doesn't really work. Um, Shrewsbury Town away. Shrewsbury Town were clinching on to, I think, Automatics? That makes sense. Whilst we, yes, obviously, they were going for the Automatics, our guy were going for the playoffs. Within two minutes, Bobby Reed had scored, and then not very long after that, Kelvin Meller had scored his only goal of the season on the final day. Brilliant. And we won 2-0. And it was a great day because we knew we'd be getting the playoffs and the reaction was fantastic and all the RDR fans were pumping and everything was lovely and then the team we just beat did a pitch invasion because they, they got promoted. Mixed feelings. A, a weird day come to think of it. Weird more than good. Now the thing about the next six entrants up for the top six, they all seem to have the same element of a late goal in them. <laughs> Or oh, mm, some of them do anyway. This is Portsmouth away at number six in the 2014 season, 2013-14. It was Paul Watton's last ever game. It was a lovely sunny summer's day and it was, I think, my first away game. Um, Ruben Reed scored early on, but then Danny Holland hit a hat-trick. Connor Horahan scored a free kick. And then in the very last minute, Heather drops down from a corner and Horahan bushes it in. Absolutely meaningless game, 
but you always remember your first. Number five, I don't know why I'm doing that now, but I am. Number five, Cheltenham Town away, Walden Road. Tiny little ground, niche little ground, I'd actually just say, quaint. It's nicer than Stevenage is, and it's about the same size. Um, Sonny Bradley opened the scoring with a header from a free kick. They equalised late on, and then Sonny Bradley scored another header from a free kick. And you're bouncing, and you damaged your shins on their seats that day. I remember that. I remember that well. Number four is from this season, just gone, which may or may not count anymore. The records might be expunged. Ah, oh, what do I do then? For now, it's Salford. A 3-2 win. Byron Moore scored, despite them being absolutely all over us. Then James Wilson scored. Then Sarsovic put us back in the lead with a thumper. Then Wilson scored again. And then last minute, Ryan Hardy turns his man, runs in, scores. Freezing snow up north. But, mm, that felt good. Number three. It's one of my most commented on videos, I'm sure. Crawley Town away, promotion season, Graham Carey stalled a penalty to equalise after I think Dean Cox had opened the storm for them, then James Collins now with Luton Town um, got sent off for an elbow on Jan Songo and then in the dying embers Instead of just clearing it up pitch, Crawley decided to lay it off to someone else at the back. He sliced his clearance, header fell down, Ryan Taylor hooks it in, absolute pandemonium. Because you're on a terrace, which isn't very tall, um, you end up on all pushed up against the barrier. Hell of a memory, hell of a great time. And I've missed the days Ryan Taylor scored goals, but you can't have it all. Um, at number two, Exeter away when Ruben Reed scored a hat trick and Ollie Lee got sent off and that was I, was that my first Derby away game? Must have been. Might have been. Perhaps. I can't remember. It was about five, six years ago now. Ruben Reed scored a hat trick. Aaron Davis, I think, scored Exeter's goal. And at the time that was one all. And so they made a big fuss about it and Clint Morrison celebrated in front of the Argyle fans, which is sort of why that Argyle fan Morrison thing still goes on to this day whenever he appears on Quest. What I'd do. In fact, I wouldn't do much to bring back the Quest EFL show right now. It didn't really bother me. But that game did. That day did. That was good. That was painful. Thinking, oh, I'll stand at the front. Well, why isn't everyone else doing this? Oh, it's because I enjoy having my rib cage. Yeah, I remember now. Number one, it's Portsmouth. Ryan Taylor had scored for them, given them the lead. I think it might have been Jed Wallace. I'm mixing up my Pompey away games now. Doesn't matter anyway, because they had Paul Jones in net, and so with a few minutes in to go, he let Jamil Matt head the ball clean over him from a corner, and we equalised, and every bodies went everywhere, as they did, as did seats and certain Domino's advertising hoardings behind us and people who were stood on. If you've ever been to Portsmouth away in the Milton End, there's like the back row of seats and then just a concrete block behind that and the people stood up there ended up everywhere. And then about a minute later, Dred Wild scored with his right foot through the loaders of Paul Jones. That was a good day, a, a, a good day to Brighten everyone up. That's the idea of this. It's to entertain you and me. I doubt this has been very entertaining. So yeah, if I've added some graphics on this side, then that will be, that's my favorite games. A list of the top 10. If you're an Argyle fan, list your favorite game below or something. I don't know. No one's gonna watch this. Then I'm gonna say thanks very much for watching. And I don't know, maybe a list of the worst games I've been to coming up soon. Yeah, um, I'd say take care, but I don't know you. But take care, keep safe, and ta -ra. If I could bother my camera so much to focus on me. At number two. That's a better joke than I thought it would be. <laughs> That's quite self-explanatory. I don't need to put that in, I'll cut that.